it's Kim and Jane for one final tutorial, and this is the one, two, three game. So we had talked about the up and down game being a pattern game. One, two, three is as well. So once again, it creates nice predictability for our dogs. It's a great way to help our dogs handle distractions. It's also a phenomenal way to work on loose leash walking. And in our classes, this is actually the foundation to our loose leash walking teaching. Um, so with the one, two, three game, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply count out loud to three. And when I reach the number three, my dog gets a treat. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So what eventually happens is as you do this, your dog starts to learn that three means a treat is coming, um, but it also starts to learn that one and two is a predictor of the number three at which they get a treat. So you can use this as a great way to keep your dog's attention. So I'm gonna say one, my dog's gonna turn to, you, to me, two, they're getting all excited, three, they get that treat. So it's a great way, like I said, to work on loose leash walking. Now, as you can see, I'm staying still with Jane. This is the best way to start teaching the game, stationary. So my dog is just relaxed and hanging out with me. I'm gonna count out loud to three and give them a treat. Once I can see that my dog understands this game, so I start counting and they look up because they're predicting that treat, then I know I'm ready to add some movement. And adding movement is, simple as, that, is as simple as that. I'm adding movement. So I'm going to start counting out loud as I move. Um, so I'm gonna say one, two, three, and my dog gets a treat. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, so forth and so on. So this is a great game to help my dog stay focused while out for a walk. Now, here's the thing with the one, two, three game. Like I said, it's a pattern, so we never want to use it as a bribe. I'm never going to say one, two, three, just to get my dog's attention. That's not the way we use this. We want to use it as a pattern to create predictability. So every time I count to three, I'm going to do it at least five times in a row. That way my dog understands that it's always a pattern and they're always going to continuously get to play this game so long as they stick by my side. And then just like the up and down game, I'm gonna start where there's minimal distractions and then I'm gonna slowly start to incorporate distractions into the game. So we'll try this at home. Once Jane's fluent at home, I'll do it maybe in the backyard, then the front yard, then on a quiet street, and we'll build up from there. We can use this to help them walk past triggers, but once again, just like the up and down game, we're not only gonna use it to walk past triggers, otherwise I'm gonna start counting and she's gonna be like, where's the dog? Um, so we're going to use it when it's nice and easy for our dogs as well. So your dog walker is going to be using the one, two, three game. They're going to use this when they enter the house to help calm your dog down so they're not jumping all over them. So I enter the house, I start counting, you get treats, creates a nice calm behavior. They're also going to use it to help your dog walk nicely on the leash and finally to help them be able to handle distractions while out on the walks. Um, and perhaps some other creative ways as well. So that is the one, two, three game. So we have the name game, up and down game, and the one, two, three game. If you have any questions at all, you're always welcome to reach out to us and we would be happy to answer them. I appreciate you watching and happy training.